Good morning. How are you all doing? Can you see I'm holding a case? Not if really. you can't, that needs to back up. So you can see that I'm holding a case. This isn't any case. This is a Pelly 1510. It's a very exciting day because behind me we have a bucket load of new camera audio visual gear. You've seen from recent vlogs. I'm going to put this case down because it's heavy, but they're expensive things. You've seen from recent vlogs that we've been doing a bit of a gear upgrade. Well, it's all been arriving in dribs and drabs, and we've been waiting to get it all in one spot where we can unbox our new stuff, work it all out, see the whole situation in one place, and work out how we're going to get some sexy cases going on for it, and our whole new production workflow for filming, music, and videos. These, if we take this case as a, as, as a baseline, yeah. so then we can use this to figure out what, how big the stack should be of what we want. But yeah, I would start. I would start making small piles of things that we know are going to be one to cut together. That way, we'll know how many cases we're going to want to buy. You know, I just want to know. So yeah, so that, so, so that you can put so you three in there and the zoom. You could probably have these stood up. Yeah, uh, potentially you could do something like that. Maybe. So the gear is provisionally unboxed. It's all scattered all over the stage, and we're trying to work out the best way to case all this up, because we're going to go buy some cases, we want to know that we're buying the right things, it makes sense. But I think the first thing we're going to do is take this broken old drum hardware bag of stands, broken because I've put things that are too long into it and broken the zip, and we're going to put those stands and tripods into the new bags we've ordered. <laughs> Should we come back? I just remember you and Arch on going, I just learned I can't wiggle. <laughs> yeah, that was so bad. Right, this is another bag. You getting you getting the idea we like our bags and cases? I don't I don't really like bags and cases. So this will hold all the tripods. Yay! Any of this? Be gone, organization! My shaft is sliding all over the floor. This is horribly embarrassing. So we bought some uh, little tabletop. Microphone stands, some heavy duty ones to hold the new podcast mics that we've got, or general like, interview mics. So these were Gator Frameworks. So the idea is instead of having, you know, you get those like articulating arms that come across, A, they're big for transport, and B, they get in the way of the shot a lot of the time. So this just screws into there, and then you can sit that on the table in front of the guests that we're interviewing, and we can have a nice close mic but it can stay low profile and not get in the way of the shot. So I think I will put these in with the tripods. For now. For now. I have to just take a minute to appreciate that we live in an age where for relatively not that much money, when you consider what these do, that we can actually buy cinema grade cameras as a small company. It's, I've been very excited about unboxing these. So if you haven't been following the recent vlogs, we have invested in three Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K cameras. These are the brand new, uh, kind of, as it says, pocket sized. It's like a bit of a stretch, you know, put that in your pocket. But these are the new compact uh, cinema cameras from Blackmagic Design. And they, as, as studio cameras, they are amazing. So uh, fully geeked out on the reviews and decided on these. But this is this is them. They took a few months to get here because they were, the waiting list was so high. Welcome to Black Magic Design. Here at Black Magic, we have guys with one eye. Software manual on an SD card. Now this is awesome. Each camera comes with its own licensed copy of DaVinci Resolve Studio, which is the fully fledged version of their editing software. And DaVinci Resolve is awesome. We're in the process of moving, well, experimenting with moving our production to Resolve. So we're going to give our editor, John, a copy. John, yes you are. Free copy of DaVinci Resolve Studio, bro. We've got one battery. Now the downside of these cameras is that the battery life is not great. That's, that was always going to be the case. They burn batteries like crazy. But for most of what we do, we're in a studio on tripods with power, so it doesn't matter and this, is, this gets you through a bit, but then when we do more handheld stuff, we're gonna have some other power options as well. Power adapter, as I said, that's gonna be very useful. Ah, what's this? A 
Okay, international plug situation. So yeah, we just need good old three pin UK, baby. Oh, he's failing hard. No, hang on. Hey. Oh man, mate, that is, that is awesome, that really is awesome. Sexy peel, <laughs> the ergonomics of it are great actually, like that, that's built really nicely. So apart from awesome image quality, what's great about these cameras is they are, they've put all of the budget into video focused features so you know you've got you haven't got a lot of photography based options getting in the way so you know literally you've got on the top you've got record you've got your ISO shutter speed white balance all ready to go on there you've got three custom function buttons on the top it, it doesn't it, 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 the mounting options are just two um, <laughs> two threads so normally you you'd, you'd put a cage on there so we've got some cages for this it's all gonna be caged up with a monitor on top and then here you've got a dedicated button for high frame rate, which is I've not seen on any of the camera. So you want to go into basically slow mo. You just tap that. And uh, one of the big selling features is this massive screen on the back. So it's just beast. Should we look at the sensor? Micro four thirds. Look at that. A small sensor, but the same. Pretty much the same sensor as the GH5. Well, in terms of in terms of sensor size, but the color science on these is even better. So I'm just very very excited, as you can tell. So that is it, the Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K in the flesh. Finally, um, we are going to get the other ones unboxed, and then we're going to sort of do a test run of the whole new rig. See what's going on. Hello, welcome back. We've had lunch. We had the Beyond Meat burgers from where? Honest Burger. Honest Burger. They're Which beyond. Which is ironic because all of their other burgers aren't very honest. Well, no, they're honest. They're honest. They're honest. Yeah, but their colour is calm. We've had a very short lunch break. Dan commented on the fact that I always eat my food so fast whilst talking. Not that it's like an open mouth situation, but it's more an impressive speed at which I consume all of my food. So now that we're fueled on absolute um, we're going to unbox this camera cage. Now, what is a camera cage and why do you need a camera cage? Aren't you just limiting yourself in the cage of camera life? Yes and no. A cage goes around the camera. It's normally a metal frame and it allows you to mount things around the camera without putting any stress on the actual camera body. Or in the case of the Black Magic, where there are limited mounting options because as you'll note, there's no cold shoe, which is that little slidey bit that you put things in. So cage goes around the camera and it has lots of holes in it that you can screw in lots of mounts and stuff, you can have a microphone, you can have a monitor, you can have power, you can have a solid state drive, you can do all sorts of crazy stuff with it. But for our purposes, we're just gonna be mounting a monitor on top and we got it, and maybe a microphone, because we don't wanna to put too much stress on this little uh, thread on the top here. So, carefully. This is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Cam to show you the difference. I'm gonna need lights up, this is just the two of them, just put up and roll in just to so you can see some of the difference between the two cameras. Back to Dan's camera. Back to the black magic. Back to Dan's camera. Back to the black magic. Worth the upgrade. Part of our new collection of production tools to bring you the best, objectively, online music lessons in the world is a slider. So imagine you got, you got, you know, you're learning a guitar lesson. You've got a nice shot of front, so you can see everything. You've got a close-up on the person's face. You can see the emotion and the joy they have while they teach you their wisdom. And then there's going to be a third shot over in the corner, all cinematic and sexy looking, sliding slowly back and forth, just to maintain your attention on the videos. So we opted for the Edelkrone Slider 1 version 2. Now this was a popular slider when it came out, the Slider 1, because it's very good and it's small it's compact, it's portable, uh, so if you want to take it places, I'm going to take a massive bag with you. Um, it's going to mean we can do much more interviews on the fly, on the sly, duh. So uh, this is it. Let's unbox. I'm going to just, just, just enjoy this beautiful injection molded, customized co comb foam setup. Oh, mate, that is some quality right there. Look at that. I don't know. Uh, yes. Okay, that's that's not part of it. 
So, I'm not going to push it because I'll probably break it, but the idea is that you mount your camera on the top of here, and then you mount this on a tripod, like this, and then you use the app to set how much slide you want, and it looks really, really nice. So we're going to set that up and try it, but if that wasn't enough to add to the quality of the videos you're going to be watching from us in the future. We've also, for your viewing pleasure, invested in the Edelkrone Head 1, which gives us a bit of pan. Not Peter Pan, but sexy pan. A bit, a bit of side to side action, a bit of twisting. So the Head 1 looks like an Apple TV, apparently. But there we go. And so that sits on there. So your camera now sits on top of the head one. So as that moves from side to side, it can do a bit of panning. And that's how you get the holy grail of cinematic looks, the parallax effect. So we're gonna be moving, we're gonna be twisting, we're gonna be teaching, we're gonna be bringing you some high quality videos. Let's get this slider set up. No. Oh. <laughs> I have no idea why it's doing that. I hope it's not calibrating and I'm completely cocking it up, but <laughs> it thinks it's on some kind of like mental, ever-changing terrain. I don't know why it, I don't, I don't, I haven't read the instructions. So what we got here, Dan? We got pelly case, sorting out the dividers to make everything nice and snug. Oh! We got this. <laughs> What have you done? <laughs> oh you got your God. shorts. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I was mean, about to say how good the tool is for, <laughs> for cutting, cutting all the, the dividers up, <laughs> but it also cut shorts. I mean, <laughs> that could have been a lot worse. <laughs> like, just saying. You got could have had half could have had half a testicle in a pelly. You got just speed enough. flaps. Oh man, I like these shorts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Onwards. <laughs> so basically, we've got a case big enough for six bike magics. Yeah. Let's buy another three, then. Cool. Order them now. That's all right. Oh, that looks like it needs to come one over. Damn you. Well, we did it. It's been a successful day of getting out all the gear, looking at the gear, drooling over the gear, uh, but more importantly, sizing up the gear to see what cases is going to fit in. And lo and behold, in this single humble Pelican 1510 resides three Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4Ks, three Ninja 5, Atomos Ninja 5, and solid state drives, and time code units, and power, and HDMI leads, and all sorts of good stuff. So now we need to buy more because we, we have need more three gear. Separate cases. No, we're still going to use three cases, but with a different system. Stay tuned for vlog next vlog where we explain the system. Bye. <laughs>